Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's video I'm going to show you the evolution of septic tanks. That's right, I'm going to show you how septic tanks have changed since the 1930s. So let me get straight into this. So what do you think the first septic tank to become popular in the UK was after the brick-built ones from Victorian era? Well, let me show you. The first most popular tanks to arrive in the UK were, well, to be constructed and made in the UK, were concrete septic tanks. Now, this revolutionised the, um, the whole septic tank market. I mean, the pros, well, these were strong they were, you know, bulletproof. I mean, you know, you'd have to drop a bomb on these to kind of destroy them. Um, they held a lot of liquid and um, they could be built literally in a week or two. And um, you could even buy prefabricated ones. The cons, well, they were heavy and um, they took a long time to dry for the concrete or the cement to dry. And if the weather was wet, oh, they were a pig to install or build or create or construct whatever you were doing. So, but nevertheless, though, um, concrete septic tanks were um, um, one of the most popular septic tanks in the UK up to 1987. So what do you think the next most popular selling septic tank in the UK was after the concrete septic tanks? Well, let me show you. The next one that was really, really popular that, as I said, s took over from the concrete tank was called an onion shaped septic tank. So this is what they look like. So basically these tanks were made from fiberglass. They were very light and they could just be manufactured from molds. And, um, you know, they were cheap to buy uh, relatively compared to the concrete shaped septic tank. So the pros and the cons, well, these um, fiberglass tanks, um, as I said, they were cheap to buy and you could get them 10 a penny. So I suppose that's the pros. The cons, well, there's quite a few cons with these fiberglass tanks, which people didn't realise until they bought them. And that was you had to um, get a massive digger to dig a big hole. So they took about take about a week to put in. Um, they need concreting. If you don't concrete them in, then the manufacturers won't warranty them. And you've got to spend at least a minimum of 800 to 1,000 quid on the concrete for these things. And um, because they're made of fiberglass, they puncture very, very easily. So those are kind of the pros and the cons of the onion-shaped septic tank, but it didn't stop it from being popular. However, right, the onion-shaped septic tank was superseded by another kind of septic tank. Can you guess what that tank was? Now, this particular tank became popular in the, mm, the era of about 2015. It's called a low-profile bullet shape septic tank and it's called a bullet shaped septic tank because it looks like a bullet now these are my favorite kind of septic tanks so let me show you why right so if i just pan out here let me just pan out and show you why i love these tanks right now these tanks can you see that let me just get down there put that now these tanks were half the height of the onion shaped septic tank right they were a million times stronger than the onion shaped septic tank and they don't need concreting. They literally take about 40 minutes or so to put in. And they're just a dream. Um, everyone um, that buys these tanks, you know, they can't, sp they speak very, very highly of them. They recommend to their friends and their neighbors. So, so I love these tanks. And for the reasons I've just said, it, I'm really biased as well towards them because these are the future of septic tanks, these bullet shaped septic tanks. So, Although the bullet-shaped septic tank hasn't been replaced by anything, another septic tank has come on the market that is really, really popular for another kind of reason. Let me show you what that tank is. It's called the Cube septic tank. Now, this is an amazing septic tank. This septic tank is designed for mobile homes, for granny annexes, for um, 
for stable blocks, for outhouses, for workshops, for glamping. And um, what's amazing about these tanks is that they're really, really cheap, but they're really, really good quality. These tanks are made in Germany. They're called black gold um, tanks because the, the plastic is really, really strong on them. Um, you can get um, copies of these on eBay. The, they're like white, flimsy, rubbishy IBCs, and you can buy them for like 100 or, 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 I don't know, 50 quid or something like that. But don't compare, right? Don't get confused between these German black gold cube septic tanks and the rubbish ones you see for sale on eBay. These are an amazing tank, the cube septic tank. Um, the pros and the cons about it, well, they're about 299. They take about 40 minutes to install. And they last about a hundred years. So there you go. That was <laughs> that was the evolution of septic tanks, how they've changed over the last 70 or 80 years. So listen, I thought you'd find that video interesting. If you did, then you can go onto Google and type in septic tank TV. And there you'll see my septic tank TV channel, and you see loads more free videos about septic tanks and all kind of related stuff to septic tanks, how to fix problems and find solutions. And if you subscribe to my septic tank TV channel, you're being with a chance to win a free cube septic tank. So listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today. You take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.